days to submit statement and supporting materials for the record. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. You went over two, two minutes and 34 seconds, and now you've had a closing statement. I think I, I get time to be able to rebut that. To rebut what? To rebut your two minutes and 34 seconds versus my five, and now you've had a closing statement, okay. but I have so, no, no closing well, statement. I always, I, I always give a closing statement. You never that was that was a lengthy closing. I mean, it's I one thing to do, you know, thirty always, seconds, but that was about I, two it, minutes worth of closing. So, started. look, I am the chair of this committee. I run this committee, and I try to run this committee in a bipartisan way. I did it with Mr. Shabot. I did it with talent, and I gotta tell you, this has been the most partisan committee ever, and I resent that because I try to be fair and balanced. Well, I Chair. have always made a, a closing statement, and as chair, I have. I, I don't do, I, that's wonderful you make a closing statement, but I think if you're going to have a lengthy one, I, it's one thing to say thank well, you so to the now, witnesses there, and thank, and just a look, recap, look, a small recap. A, but a, for, a Reclaiming for, my time, sir, I have always given a closing statement. It doesn't have to be two minutes long or three minutes long or one minute long. I just simply... If you have a closing statement of a, of, a, of a significant length, I have the option to be able to have a closing statement as well. No, you're not chair. You are That's not the That's in the chair. rules. That's not the chair. No, you're it's not the chair. I, in the rules. You're not the chair. So, so you're going to do it because you can. Is that what you just said? Well, I'm the chair, sir. <laughs> I'm the chair. <laughs> Steve Shabbat never gave... So uh, next, next term, whenever I'm the chair... You're going to sit here and we'll just, yeah. we'll just make sure you have Look, five minutes left. Go on for 20. You, Is that I, what you just I, said? I, I give you the right to run your minority members. I give you access in terms of your budget. I am the chair. I give a closing statement, and that has always been the tradition of the community. Madam Chair, with all due respect, there are rules in place to allow each of us to be able to give a closing statement. You want to give, a, a, to be, be want to to give a, a closing statement? Make a closing statement, sir. You recognize. Okay. Very good. You Thank recognize. Thank you. <clears throat> well, we could have been out here five minutes ago if we would have just recognized that right off the bat. But you know, here we are. Um, again, going through some of the last comments by the chairman, uh, the vaccine mandate. Now, I think. I think. Uh, Ms. Guzman, you said 98% of the small businesses are exempt. The problem is only about 40%, about 35 to 40% of the people are going to be exempt from that. There's about 60 to 65%, according to what our, where our information is, that are going to be affected by the vaccine mandate. So let's be, let's be honest about your statistics here. Um, you know, the, the chairman talked about guardrails on things, and I think that's great. We need to have guardrails on what's going on, especially in the idle program and some of the direct lending programs. The problem is the staff don't follow the guardrails. The problem, if the IG report says that this is happening, so therefore we need to make sure that the staff does its job, which is to adhere to the new challenges, new guardrails, new protocols that are in place. That's your job, Madam Chair, uh, uh, Administrator. Um, you know, one of the things that, that, is, that is frustrating to me is when you make these uh, uh, wild statements about, you know, we're going to, raise taxes on the wealthy, you know, in this, in this BBB, there's a huge tax break for the wealthy. It's called SALT. You can't take on one side and give on the other and, and get away with just taking part of what's going on and not explain what's going on on the other side of this argument. So it's, it's very frustrating to see that there's the, the, not a lot of the information is not necessarily given in a, in a frank form for, for both sides to understand the, the depth and problems that we have. Again, I thank you for being here, Ms. Guzman. I think that you um, uh, have got a large job ahead of you. I think you found this morning the concerns that we have on this side of the aisle with regards to uh, the inability to answer questions, the inability to provide studies to show that you're actually doing your job and making sure that the information you're giving us is actually done through a think tank or a study of some sort that you can verify and back up what you're saying. This is very important. You know, you talk about the COVID thing, and right here I've got something from the Job Creators Network that says higher prices and inflation. By 40% versus 14% is the number one issue for small businesses. I hope that you have information like that because that's where you need what you need to be able to make good decisions. So I'm very concerned of the direction that we're going. Um, this committee hearing has not allayed my fears, and we're going to be watching very carefully and providing what we're supposed to be doing is for oversight. 
Thank you for being here. With that, Madam Chair, I yield back. Yes, and uh, let me remind the gentleman that um, almost every economist in this country are, are saying, including Senator Portman yesterday in his speech, that when it comes to inflation, no better to make investment in the infrastructure of this country. But you know what is the problem here? That for the last 40 years, America has been expecting a, an infrastructure bill. People and previous presidents make pronouncement of infrastructure bill, and this one delivered. The president of the United States delivered yesterday. I ask unanimous consent that members have five legislative dates to submit statement and supporting materials for the record without objection so ordered. And if there is no further business to come before the committee, we are adjourned.